Hello everybody, this is uh, Richard Cespedes, Mad Cat Sphere, and I want to talk about um, how to uh, gain information from um, <clears throat> from the environment that you live in, you know, like the, the world that we live in. And I found out that when you're in a very relaxed, calm state, very patient, observant state, ready to receive information, which is just like your everyday life when you're chilling at home, relaxed on a weekend or something, you can actually gain information from uh, the abstractness of your environment, the abstract complexity of your environment. I found out that by just looking at um, leaves, you know, or anything in the house, anything like that, the world is filled with very textured, abstract, complex um, um, images, you know, our external environment. Like right here, as you can see this uh, cluster of leaves from this branch of a tree, by looking at it, from a distance or whatever you want by looking at the the complexity of the leave arrangement from the foreground to the background and the depth between those two and those dimensions and everything the shadowing the texture of the leaves the texture of the branches the movement of it by just letting yourself relax and just observe you can let yourself uh, receive information complex information or simple information from complex um, um, imagery it's not with words. It, it, it's it's speaking to you because um, it basically what it is that's a it's a mirror um, reflection of yourself and partial partially at different moments as at different levels different variations of spiritual information from at the life uh, and from yourself a little bit a little bit more from yourself. So you look at the environment and you see the complexity and the texture of the world around you, and you just observe it and look. And you just look at it and it just it just speaks to you without words. It just tells you something about you. It tells you something about your world and your and yourself and and information that you're trying to look for. You're just trying to observe and look and let it speak to you, not without words, but by feeling and emotion and by uh, mental mental imagery. You know? And just let yourself be taken away by it and observe and, and, and analyze the textures and the and the complexity of the depth of the foreground and background between the leaves of all the leaves between everything, the shadowing, everything. And just let it speak to you. And the crazy thing is though, like psychonesis, only you will know when you're receiving the right information. When you're when you're awakened, when you're uh ready, you're receiving the information that you want to receive, the information that you that you beckon. Something that's within yourself, you know, it's something that you want to bring out and it reflects back to you as a re-acknowledgement of the information that you're looking for. <clears throat> and just like with anything, you know, in the environment, like a cluster of uh, grass right here, a bunch of grass together, you, uh, I hope you guys can see it. Just grass, a cluster of grass, again, the depth between the foreground and background, the grass in between, and the shadowing and everything. And just let it speak to you. The abstractness of your environment tells you information. You know, don't force it. Just let it, let it uh, grow in you. Observe, look, analyze. Be quiet in your mind, and let the abstractness of your environment tell you something about yourself. Like the, likewise, the leaves and everything, and even the the texture of the dirt. Now, this this is very very beautiful. This comes out good in the camera. Look at the texture, the complexity of the dirt look at that look at the shadowing it's almost like a like an awesome uh, texture mapping of a of a video game you know it looks so beautiful like that and like you just let yourself observe all the bumps and ridges of the environment of this of this imagery the shadowing everything the texture like i said let it tell you something about you it's a story it's like it's like a written language but in a different abstract manner that's not how we think of of, uh, of literature, of, of, of what we think um, in, um, in norm, norm explanation. You know, it's not like it's, 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 you're reading it from the leaves and everything. You're reading it. You're reading the texture and your environment, the complexity in the environment. But it's not in the way that we think of it as we think in terms of books and words. It's something that's a little bit more deeper and requires you to look a little bit more further. But it's not difficult. You know, it's not like regular literature. It's something that's much more complex because it's in the environment. And it's something that uh, you awaken within yourself. Uh